Hello YouTubers! Today we are going to install Macrium Reflect and show how to create, schedule, and maintain backups. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, first thing we need to do is we have to go to macrium.com and scroll over products and go down to free edition under personal. Once there, we can go ahead and click on the home use button. You don't have to enter an email address. You can click just continue. Give it a moment. It'll want to save. Quite easy. Click the uh, executable. We can get rid of this now. And go ahead and hit download. Overwrite the existing if it does exist. That didn't take too long. Click next. And click next again. Accept the terms. Next. It's for home use. So they're giving you a product license key that's just strictly for home use. Again, don't have to register the software, so uncheck mark register, uh, click on next, and you can install a desktop shortcut, and install. We do want to launch it now, so let's go ahead and leave that check marked and click finish. Here, now that it's open, we get to choose what drives we want to back up. I only want the C drive to back up. Um, so we make sure that only that is checkmarked. We come up here and click on image selected disks on this computer. And you see it's still only that one checkmarked. Now, I highly recommend that you take the backups and put them to an external drive or to a map drive. In my case, I'm going to do it to a map drive. Uh, as you will see, I have a drive mapped, but it doesn't show up. I could go under network, but again, it's not going to show up. The easiest way to do this is slash slash the computer name of the map drive. In this case, the computer name that I want to save to is Jarvis. Yes. I have a Avengers theme going on and then backslash and the folder I want to save to is Friday which is the name of this computer and in here I'm just going to pick a name of the backups that I want to see let's make sure the only thing that is checkmarked is my C drive next we want to add a full backup schedule. I want to do it weekly, every Monday. And I think I'm going to start that at 4 a.m. Uh, apparently starting today, which it'll start tomorrow. And then I'm going to create a differential. And that's going to happen every day. And we're going to have that start at 5 a.m. So now... The full backup will happen once a week, meaning that at Monday, if Tuesday I crash, I could go back to Monday's full backup and just restore the whole thing. If by Sunday I crash and I need to do a restore, I'll need to involve all those differentials, which really isn't that hard. Uh, the full backups, I'm going to keep four of those, and the differentials I will keep 12. Um, reason being is you can still explore the files is if it'll mount the drive and you can explore the files and then pull out individual files as need be if you accidentally deleted something you didn't mean to and the backup actually got a backup of it. Uh, purge all the sets if less than 5 gigs in the storage that's fine. This gives us a summary of everything that we're telling it to do. So now I'm going to click finish. 
and I want to run this back up now, but I also want to save my backup schedule. So we go ahead and click OK. Now it's asking me for username and password to get connected to my share or my map drive. It's going to test it out. There we go. And now it's going to run through a backup. So for right now, we're going to let this run. I'll speed up the video. Then we will come back and discuss the reasons. OK, and we are back. And as you can see, it's just about finishing up. So <clears throat> the point of this is the way it makes a backup is it takes a whole image of your hard drive. That way, if something happens, say the hard drive even fails, you can take this image and put it on a brand new hard drive and be exactly back to where you were. Your pictures, your emails, all of your files, your desktop wallpaper, all of it back the way it was as of the day of the backup, including the differentials. That's the reason why I like the software so much. Now let's go ahead and finish this up and we're going to do one more thing. We're going to make a recovery USB disk. As soon as there we go, it's finishing up. There was no errors found. And look at that. It took basically 13 minutes to do this whole thing. So tonight or tomorrow morning, rather at five o'clock in the morning, it's going to do a differential, which will take less time because it's only backing up anything that has changed between now and then. So let's go ahead and close that. What we're going to want to do is click on other tasks, create rescue media. And then as you see, we have selected remove removable USB flash drive. As you see, my F drive is already plugged in. It's just a little thumb drive. Looks like one of these. We click build. And there we have it's created successfully. So we can close this and we can close this. Now, the reason that's important is that little USB drive will give you the ability to boot to something if your C drive has failed. And let's say worst case scenario that you do need to replace the hard drive. With that boot thumb drive, you can boot to it after you've installed a brand new hard drive. Uh, copy those files that you backed up off of the map drive or if it's an external hard drive, just plug the external hard drive in and it will walk you through the restore procedures so that way you can get your drive back the way it was prior to the crash. Uh, we will be doing a part two, which is how to restore. And this also allows you to clone a drive from one to the other. I'm going to set it up to where we're going to pretend that the hard drive has failed and use the backup to go to the brand new hard drive that I have purchased. I'm still waiting for a couple of other parts to arrive so that I can upgrade this machine a little bit. With all of that said, I hope this has helped you. Please feel free to uh, like and subscribe. And I'm going to try and put these helpful videos out uh, at least once a week, um, aiming for Wednesdays to be the day that they get released. But we'll see what happens. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.